Want to see an actual example of the Trailblazers method at work and how one of my students was able to build an amazing personal brand and today she's living out her purpose as a thought leader, an executive and a founder. In this video, I'm going to share an inspirational story with you of one of my recent students, Jamie Tynan. So in the last four videos, we covered a lot of groundwork and I showed you how to quickly get started with the Trailblazers method and I walked you through my entire blueprint. Now, in case you haven't watched the first four videos yet, make sure you catch up because a lot of the information I've been giving away is more valuable and up-to-date than what you're going to get in other paid courses. Now, in this video, I'm going to show how one of my students used the Trailblazers method to build and to optimize her personal brand. And today she's attracting ideal opportunities within her career, along with securing partnerships, keynote speaking opportunities, and even secured a book deal. Jamie's story is similar to many women of color who identify as leaders in the workplace today. And she enjoys and thrives in her career as an executive and a leader. But the thing I love most is Jamie's pursuit of the seat at the table isn't the only thing that she is or wants for herself. And you'll see in her story here in a minute that she's not only a leader within a major healthcare firm, but she's also a founder, a speaker, and soon to be author. Here's a short message from Jamie where she talks about her transformation in her own words. Enjoy. Well, my name is Jamie Tynan. In my professional job, I work at Egon Zender, which is a leadership advisory firm where I have the opportunity to do one of two things, um, uh, or two things um, primarily. One is um, executive search, so finding talented candidates for executive roles within healthcare. That's the industry that I focus on. And then the other side is around advising CEOs on executive assessment and development opportunities, organizational transformation, and culture. I also am the founder of a career initiative called 100 by 2030, which I launched right before the pandemic in February of last year. And this career initiative is really to help encourage individuals and organizations to sponsor women, women of color in healthcare and make commitments to do so. And I made a personal commitment to sponsor 100 women of color in healthcare by 2030, um, because I've been blessed to be on the receiving end of sponsorship and it's been fantastic for my career. Well, personal branding had been introduced to me many years ago when I was a consultant, um, when I was a strategy consultant. And it was a mentor of mine who talked about this uh, desire to build her personal brand and how she used her personal brand to make stronger connections with uh, clients that she served, with um, colleagues that she worked with. And it was a way for her to stand out and be unique among her peers. And that really resonated with me because when you work for large organizations, you can get lost in the sea of people, right? Who work for the organization and how do you bring your own unique value to the table. That that really helps catapult you forward in your career and give you opportunities for higher visibility within your organization and externally. And so for me, I knew that in order to achieve my career goals, which was around leadership, was um, around becoming an executive, I had to um, have a unique voice and have a unique presence. And I felt that having a personal brand was the direct way to do that. And I think the challenge that I was trying to solve for was what values do I have? What impact do I want to make? And how do I wrap my personal brand around that and be clear and consistent with that messaging within my organization and externally? Um, and making sure that my brand was something that resonated with others. Because in order for you to be successful, I feel, in business, you have to have something that someone else feels is valuable. You have to be able to articulate who you are, what you stand for, um, and be able to do that in a way that, you know, emotionally connects you with others. And I felt that a personal brand would do that. 
Well, for one, it helped me clarify my story, which I think is what most personal brands are founded on is who are you? When someone asks you who you are, um, can you articulate that? You know, if people talk about the elevator speech and the elevator pitch, and if you're in an elevator, what do you tell people in that 30 seconds it takes? For you to get from one floor to the other. Um, but that's just part of the, the process of building a personal brand. And I knew there were other components, but didn't know anyone who had successfully done that that could teach me how to, to develop mine. Everything from, you know, your brand colors and, and what that means to you and how that connects to who you are. Um, font sizes that you use on your website. So I was launching a personal website and wanted to be clear and consistent with my logo and my colors and the, the the course that I took really pulled out how you can do that in a smart way. Um, and, and really pushed me to think about who I was serving, right? Because your personal brand serves yourself, but it also serves others. And uh, I felt like the, the, the course really helped you clarify and target who your audience is and who you're speaking to. And your personal brand isn't meant to speak to everyone. It's meant to be very targeted at uh, who you are trying to attract, who you're trying to pull in. So I felt that the course really did that very well. Oh my goodness, since I started uh, the course, let's see, so many things have happened. I, I mentioned before I launched my personal website, which has been fantastic and a blog along with that. So being able to communicate with my audience. Um, in addition to that, I've gotten several speaking engagements as a result of my website and my brand that I've also extended to LinkedIn. And not only speaking engagements, but paid speaking engagements. So that's been fantastic. Um, and then I, I got a book deal um, just a few months ago. And in part, it was because of um, the work that I did to develop my book proposal, but also the brand that I had in the market. Um, and my book proposal really in, you know, incorporated my social media outreach and um, connections that I had and, and the voice that I was starting to develop externally. And so because of that, because it was a consistent, clear message and that was coming through in the book proposal that also helped me to land that book deal. So I think those three components around uh, your personal brand, being able to um, launch communication channels with others, getting opportunities to be on stage and continue to extend your personal brand and then having it turn into um, things like a book opportunity have been phenomenal for me. So that was pretty inspiring, right? I hope you enjoyed that short clip of Jamie Tynan. Jamie uh, followed the exact step-by-step -step process that we outlined in the Brand and Demand course uh, that's launching in a few days from now. She leveraged access to me, she did the work, and I'm so very excited to, to see her thriving today. Uh, know that she has the clarity, the brand identity, the digital footprint to stand out from the crowd. Imagine being able to watch over my shoulders as I show you exactly how to get clarity on your message, your voice, and the impact that you'll leave. I'm gonna help you get the necessary pieces in place to be able to create meaningful and engaging content, start creating value, income, wealth. I'm gonna be there with you and I'm gonna help you every step along the way. And like I shared before, you're gonna gain access to my years of marketing, branding, leadership, and entrepreneurial experiences. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there to, to guide you and you can learn from my knowledge and my experiences as a respected entrepreneur, podcast, and content creator. Imagine how much time and money you're gonna save compared to trying to figure this out on your own. Now, as you can imagine, it's impossible for me to work with everyone. In fact, I prefer to keep my online courses relatively small to make sure that everyone can get the support that they need and so as much as I'd like to help everybody, I'm only accepting 30 new students right now to allow me to maintain the level of support that's needed to, to provide the results that I know you want. So please understand this. It's genuinely going to be a rare opportunity and spots in this upcoming course is gonna be granted on a first come, first serve basis. So if this is something that you're interested in and you feel like it's the right timing, it's God's timing, I'd encourage you to make sure you click on the link that's below this video. Put your name on our early bird waitlist. Everybody on the waitlist 
is gonna get access to our registration link the day before the program launches to the public. So make sure you place your name on the early bird waitlist right now. Just go ahead and click the link, fill out the form. All I'm asking for you to do is enter your name and your email address and your spot's gonna be reserved and you'll get access to the Brand in Demand course when it goes live. This is literally the best program that I've personally ever created and I wouldn't be surprised if it sells out in just a few hours. So keep your eyes on your inbox and jump on board as soon as the registration opens. In the next video, I'll give you some more information that you can follow to make sure you get a, a spot in, in the upcoming program and course. And I'll share some more information about the Brand in Demand uh, program and how it's different from other things that you might have seen before. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.